now, and the flowers. Now, what were you saying about um, the quinces? Yeah, you were I'm saying they were different... Yeah, you, you were saying that the, your quince tree never gives fruit. Yeah. And I'm suspecting that this bec it's because this quince is not a, a suitable uh, variety for fruiting in this country. Okay. This, this is most likely a rootstock selection. Okay. There are, uh, it's, uh, uh, quince A or quince C. Uh, I'd say probably quince A. And this is the leaf. And this is the leaf, yeah. It's got a, it's got a lovely... It's a lovely tree, actually. It's a lovely ornamental tree, the quince. It's got a... The, uh, the rootstock, now these are relatively small leaves. The cultivars have bigger leaves, more kind of bigger leathery leaves, and they've got showier blossoms, lovely blossoms. The blossoms there, you might see, it's, there are some blossoms on, are coming there? on it. I yeah. don't think there are any. No, there are, yeah. And look, at look, the actual the bud, the, blo the bud, it's like a little miniature rosebud if you look at it closely. Oh, look, do you, there, do you see there, it up there, there, there. You see it there? That's the, 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 the bud of the... Oh, okay. There's another one there. See that? Where? There. See? Whoops. Hold it still. There we go. Oh, look. Yes. Yeah. Now, that's... I, I, I know straight away now from looking at that and the leaves and the blossoms that it's just a rootstock quince. It's not a cultivar. Like, I, I grow a quince uh, 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 at home in Dublin called... And I've grown different varieties and only one works for me and it's called Meech's Prolific. It's a common... It's a common variety. Meat yeah. is prolific and it fruits and ripens in, in Ireland. And if you had that here in your garden, definitely you'd get fruit. Woo! Especially if you had it grown against a wall in a warmer oh, look. corner. Here's some Yeah, loads there's of blossom some there. Blossom. But it's it's the, the quince is a Mediterranean type of um plant and and it's not really suited to our climate, but this meat is prolific one is very hardy and um it gives fantastic fruit. And you, you, with your location and the sunny corners of your garden you definitely uh, you, you would definitely I should get I, a fruiting quince I'll then I tell you what I, I could graft one for you I'll graft one for you from, that would from, be from like one of my trees fantastic <laughs> basically you're saying that this is a quince what we've got here is the pear tree this main trunk here yeah and that seems to have been grafted onto a quince rootstock yeah and all of this here mind the nettles yeah I see the nettles these here yeah these even these larger ones here, that's all quince. Yeah. And it's coming up from the base of the pear tree. I suspect it's the rootstock, you know? Or could they have been planted well, close together or well, one uh, self-sown? Like the, the pear the, could have self-sown. The, 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 um, I doubt it because it looks like it has been espalier at some stage. Oh yeah, it's been the pears. Whereas, you, you, well, could the quince have been self-sown? Uh, no, no. no. It, 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 quince just doesn't self So Where would it have come from even? It doesn't so grow in our climate. It doesn't okay. self-grow. Uh, and you would it would never have been planted right next to the pear tree like that. Okay, so why would someone have grafted onto a quince? Because that's what pears are grafted onto. Oh! It's a, quince is the dwarf rootstock for grafting a pear. And it, a dwarf rootstock, so you don't want it to grow big. Yeah. So that's kind you, of one of the techniques of grafting is yeah. you have a dwarf rootstock makes a small pear tree, yeah. whereas if you've got a bigger... If you wanted a bigger pear, traditionally pears are grafted onto the wild pear. Okay. Seedlings, just seedling wild pear, and they grow. You see, you know, like the big pear trees in the rest of your garden, these yeah. huge trees, they're grafted yeah. onto pear, obviously. Um, and uh, I think around the start of the 20th century, or thereabouts, they started grafting pears onto quince. They discovered that they're compatible, and the pear tree will, will, will only grow into a much smaller tree. And nowadays, yeah. in Europe anyway, all pears are... Uh, are grafted onto quince rootstocks, uh, all eating So pears, they've left pears. doing the wild pear. Only for peri pears, they would graft to wild pears. Which pear. is what you produce, which is... Well, I actually have grafted my peri pears also onto quince. Oh, okay. It's because uh, it means I can, um, they, they, they'll mature quicker, they'll grow, they'll, they'll, they'll fruit quicker. Yeah. You know, they talk about pears for your heirs. Yeah, it takes a long time, yeah, yes. Uh, uh, but with quince, you don't have to wait for your heirs before you get the pears. Ah. Yeah, within two or three years, they'll start fruiting. And they will, and especially... And see, if this, the different, <clears throat> what is here is the quince, you can tell, is those gnarly bits. It's, yeah. Is the, on the trunk. Yeah, yeah, these, the, the, it has a very twisted, uh, gnarly kind of branch work and trunk compared to a pear. And this is um, the pear, which is kind of barky. Typical pear, this fissured bark. Um, and I'd say, the thing is, you see, this has been planted on the wall and uh, you, the, you you don't want to, you want to be able to control the tree for a spallying. Yes. You want a dwarf for a tree. If you try, if you try because to, you don't want it to go above the yeah, wall. Yeah, you'd be fighting with the it, wind. For pruning it and training it 
if it was grafted onto a vigorous rootstock, you'd never tame it properly. And, and uh, whereas the trees in the open were probably grafted onto pear. Or were grown, like the Cadillac, I think, is not a graft. Uh, it's huge. It's, I think that was planted by my great But it would great. have to have been grafted onto something unless it was a cutting because it's Cadillac. Oh, it has is to be Cadillac not a... If, it's um, a variety of pear. Ah. So, it's, so it's, it has to be vegetatively propagated. It doesn't come from a Cadillac seed. Ah, you know? so you can't... So if I were to plant a Cadillac seed... It's, you're not going to get a Cadillac pear. What would you get? You'll get a, some kind of a... A, 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 some kind of a mix of a wild pear uh, or, or a mixture. Oh, okay. You know, it's, it's, because they're seeds. So genetically, the, gen, the, gen, the genes are all mixed up in the flower, in the Got in it. the pollination and the flowering, you know? Okay, very interesting. So it so, was probably a graft. Oh, um, uh, yeah, grafted on. And, but I must and, say and, that Cadillac pear baked in brandy mm, <laughs> with a bit of butter. <laughs> nothing like it. <laughs> I'm looking forward to trying that. <laughs> But so, yeah. oh, no, that's very interesting about the, um, because, I mean, I hadn't, I mean, I'm not, I'm no tree expert. So, I mean, I'm learning. I should actually show you my almond tree. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah come yeah. and I'll show you my almond tree. 